Hi, I'm Iki. Today we are going to learn how to transfer files to Google Cloud using File Scylla. As you can see, the first thing to do is download the software from the official website. I also have to download Party to generate an identity key that I will use to guarantee access. The download will depend on the type of operating system and processor you have. In this case, a 64-bit processor. Once installed from the Compute Engine panel, I select my virtual machine instance. Now, I'm going to edit the settings. For it to work, we must allow HTTP traffic. Now, I need to set the keys with which I will bind a connection. To create it, I will use PuTTY. A random key will be generated based on the position of the mouse, so we move it everywhere. You must change the key comment, entering your email or Google Cloud user. You can see it on your console. And now we save the file as a private key. Ok, I need the generate key here, so I copy it from Paddy and paste it. Save the changes. The next thing is to load the connection data to file silo. For this, we must establish that it will be a protocol of the type SSH. I must also indicate the IP address. In my case, I will choose port 22. Then, I said that I will use a file for my key. So now, I can load my file. Finally, we put the user that we also use when creating the key. As I said, it is the same as the one on the console. Let's start giving this user permissions on our server. I need to set permission on the path where I am going to interact. If you don't have access to the root account, you can modify the password by doing the command that I show you on the screen. By preference, I'm going to grant read and execute permissions to a certain directory. For that, I will set permissions 775. With this, we succeeded! Now, we can upload files to our server. Remember, that we will only have access to the directories where we assign the permissions. That's it! Subscribe for more! Thank you for watching and see you next time!